Now, is this cool or what? Well, that is just really neat because it reminds me of the that little cartoon, Frosty the Snowman. It does. Yeah, that has the burl lives and. <laughs> this is a a Virgil White snowmobile. Well, of course. And I I'd love to know if this was a kit or what. I'm pretty sure it's a modified plastic kit with some maybe 3D printed parts or something. I've never seen this offered as a kit, but it's one of my favorite vehicles of all time a Model T uh, Ford converted into a snowmobile by Virgil White. Now we have to go clomping down memory lane just a little bit here. Uh, there used to be a really great car collection at the Imperial Palace Casino in Las Vegas and they had one of these there. Oh neat! And I saw it and fell in love with it and I thought I took a million pictures but this happens to be the only picture that I took. For, for some strange reason. <laughs> anyway, Virgil White uh, got the idea to put skis on the front of a car and tracks on the back. He started off with a Buick and that didn't work out. So he grabbed a Model T because they were just everywhere, converted one of those and then started mass producing these kits and selling them. And he coined uh, the expression snowmobile. Well, there's where the ski doo came from. <laughs> And and st as people started buying these like crazy, and uh, Model Ts were a dime a dozen. Heck, they were only a few hundred dollars brand new. And so people would get these kits and they'd grab a Model T and they'd just convert it into a snowmobile. It kind of reminds me of the goose, the galloping goose. All it needs is railroad tracks. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Same idea, sort yeah. of. Anyway, at some point in time, uh, the post office thought this would be a great way to deliver mail in New England. And they bought a bunch of these and put them out at the post offices. And uh, so some of these postal ones crop up from time to time. Yes, they do. Now we ran into one of these at the Antiques Powerland in Wallsburg, Utah. That's a pretty tiny town. And I, I fell in love with it too. They're, they're just amazing. This is an amazing collection. This guy up in Wallsburg was collecting every darn thing imaginable. And then when he died, they turned his collection into a foundation. Yes. And they open it one day a year for this big event, Antiques Powerland Show. And we were pleasantly surprised. Right. There one was. Uh -huh. Parked in a barn right yes. where it belongs. <laughs> Now this is really fun. This is a die cast version of one of those in, of all things, 1 20th scale. The exact same scale as our locomotives. And I found one and I thought, wow, I want it. It's got a, a manufacturer's name down here, which I can't read. All I can read is made in USA and then a great big, huge serial number. Wow, 1921. So I just, I don't quite know who made it. And there's a rumor around that these were made as a limited edition for the post office. Oh, because RFD would be there. Uh, yeah, you know, but look at what they sell for on eBay. So if you find one of these, they're a little, a little pricey, little yeah. bit pricey, yeah. but not too bad. I didn't pay that much for ours, but that way I can take ours out on the railroad on a snowy day, and ta-da! Oh, I, I think you'd have all kinds of fun with it. It just, for one thing, I can take the best pictures for Christmas cards. Oh yeah. Because look at that. It is. It's absolutely. It's a Christmas card. <laughs> it's perfect. It's just perfect out there. And I just love it. And it just sits on a shelf inside. And then uh, on those occasional days when we're running on a snowy day, outside it goes. And I just set it next to the tracks. And it's perfect. It is. Anyway, there it was at the GSL, uh, the exact same model and probably 125th scale don't know how they did it or anything. There was no build book that we saw. So if you know something of the history of this car, we'd sure love to know mm -hmm. how it was built and if it was ever available as a kit or detail parts or just what. Anyway, we still have uh, things to show from the GSL. Right. Some amazing dioramas. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and then we're going to be moving on to more railroad videos and building the backyard railroad and things of those nature. You don't want to miss that. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe by clicking on the upcoming blue button. Zoink! Right there.
Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here on Sunday. We'll see you then. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.